What's up guys, for today's CES coverage, I'm going to be talking about Windows 7 actually coming to your iPad. And this is being done by OnLive. OnLive is a cloud gaming service that you can use to play console games on certain devices such as smartphones, tablets, and even TVs. So there's a new app that will be going into the App Store that will let users access Microsoft's desktop OS on their Apple tablets. Works with OnLive's Windows 7 app, so you have virtual access to a PC running the system, and pre-installed you have Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and a web browser which could be Internet Explorer 9. Unfortunately, on the first day you get this application, you won't be able to install your own. However, you will be able to have this option in the future. So this will be great for those users who actually want a Microsoft Office application for their iPad because Microsoft hasn't made an official one. There are Microsoft Office apps that are made from other developers but not Microsoft themselves. This app will be pre-installed with 2 gigabytes of storage and it's free. However, if you pay $9.99 a month, you can get up to 50 gigabytes of storage. Alright, so what are my opinions about Windows 7 actually coming to the Apple iPad? Well, I think this is a great feature to have because some people do want tablets for their work. And the fact that Windows 7 is actually coming onto the iPad, I think that will make a lot of uh, business people happy. What are your thoughts about Windows 7 coming to the iPad? Are you excited, not excited? Do you think online should have brought Mac OS 10 instead of Windows 7? I'd like to see what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And for more CES coverage, click on that subscribe button.